Good morning, good morning everybody. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Good morning sons and daughters of the Most High God. My name is Prophet Fred Akama. Welcome to Command Your Morning. Command Your Morning. Take authority over your morning. Welcome, welcome. Today, when everybody's heart is failing them for fear, they are running from pillar to post because of viruses, because of sicknesses, because of the evil that is coming upon the earth. God has a solution. The blood of Jesus is still speaking. Today we are here to speak hope and to speak life into your situation so that fear can be driven out. We are taking a small break, but when we come back, we shall be talking about our total dominion over sickness and disease. Don't touch that dial in Jesus' name. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Command Your Morning, and my name is Prophet Fred Akama from Tent of Testimonies Ministries International. God has given us total and absolute dominion over sickness and disease. One of the assignments of Jesus Christ that made him come on earth was to destroy sickness and disease. Right now, we are living in an era where people are afraid of viruses, people are afraid of sicknesses, people are afraid of deadly diseases that is coming upon the earth. But God has set aside the blood of his son Jesus Christ, the body of his son Jesus Christ, the stripes of Jesus by which we are healed. We have seen countless, countless thousands of healings done instantly by God over the years and God has not changed. He says, I am the Lord, I change not. What he did in the past during the time of Israelites, what he did during the time of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and what he has been doing, he is continuing to do. God is our healer. His name is Jehovah Rapha because he's the Lord who heals us. So when people's hearts are failing them for fear, you as a child of God, you should not be one of these people, you should not be somebody who's running around thinking the virus is going to catch me, thinking I'm going to fall sick, thinking, oh, have I caught it already? Thinking, what is the government doing about this virus? Thinking, oh, this thing is in the air, it's going to get me wherever I am. Thinking, I have my children, I'm going to die and leave them. This should not be your thinking. God has given you, as a child of God, total dominion over every sickness, over every disease, over everything that the devil can throw your way in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the book of Job, chapter 33, in the book of Job, chapter 33, from verse 19, the Bible says, He is chastened also with pain upon his bed, and the multitude of his bones with strong pain so that his life abhorreth bread, and his soul dainty meat. Verse 21, if you look at this scripture, it's describing somebody maybe who has later stages of cancer, or later stages of HIV, or um, somebody who's very sick who's almost going to death. In the book, in the chapter, in the, in the uh, verse 21 of chapter 23 of Job, it says, his flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen, and his bones that were not seen stick out. Yeah, his soul draweth near unto the grave, and his life to the destroyers. Verse 23 says this, If there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show a man his uprightness, <coughs> to show a man his uprightness, then he is gracious unto him, and saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. Verse 25 says, His flesh shall be fresher than a child's, he shall return to the days of his youth. The Bible says, if somebody is very sick, their bones are sticking out. Their flesh is wasting away. They have no appetite. Their soul is abhorring food. They are lying on their deathbed. The Bible says, if that man finds somebody who will tell them about their uprightness, then the Lord will be gracious to them, and the Lord will say, Deliver them from going unto the pit because I have found a ransom. I have good news for you today. I am a messenger of Jehovah and God has found a ransom. That ransom has a name. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And because of that ransom, you will be delivered from going down into the pit. Because of that ransom, no sickness shall come near thee. Because of that ransom, we have total dominion over every sickness and every disease. In the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even as the scientists are running around to try and find a cure for this corona, HIV, leukemia, cancer, whatever, God already has brought a cure because the Bible says God sent his word and the word healed them. 
he sent his word and he healed them. That is the book of Psalms, chapter 107, verse 20. It said, he sent his word and he healed them. The word of God has been with us since time in eternity, and that word is the healing word that God brings to you. So even as you wait for medication, you wait for vaccines to be made, you wait for what? You don't have to die because already with you, you have the word of God that God sent, and that word is the healing word. The Bible says he sent his word and he healed them. We have had testimonies upon testimonies upon testimonies of instant healing of the Lord. Of instant healing of the Lord. People's eyes opening up. Deaf ears being opened up. In the name of Jesus. What you need, even as you're looking for medication, what you need, even as you're taking tablets, is to believe in the word of God. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 5, it says, Who has believed our report? In any circumstances, there are two reports. There's the report of the doctors and there's the report of the Lord. Which report? Whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? Will you now run around in fear because you have got a negative medical report? Will, you, will your heart now sink and think life has ended because you tested and you found your HIV positive? Will your life begin to end because somebody diagnosed you with cancer? No, there is another report. It's called the report of the Lord. And this report of the Lord speaks of life. This report of the Lord speaks of abundant life. Jesus said, the, 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 the enemy comes not but to kill, steal, and destroy. But I am come that they might have life and that more abundantly. Because Jesus Christ came, he died and resurrected. Now you have, you have the opportunity to have life more abundantly. And as a prophet of Jehovah, I speak life to you right now in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any area of your life that is not um, lining up to the word of God, I command it to line up to the word of God right now in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen. Every sickness has a spiritual root. Every sickness has a spiritual root. Every infection has its roots in the spiritual arena. The Bible says in the book, of, the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38, it says, you know about Jesus Christ, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. He went about healing the sick, and he went about um, doing good and healing all those who are oppressed of the devil, because God was with him. So Jesus went about doing good and healing everybody who was oppressed of the devil. So these people came to Jesus, they thought they were sick, but according to Jesus, they were oppressed of the devil. So every sickness, according to the word of God, has the spiritual root. Even when you go and you have had some accident and your leg is broken, the, the Lord Jesus has designed the human body to heal itself automatically. The reason that thing is not healing is because something is keeping it like that. Something is keeping it broken, something is keeping it, the wound open, something is trying to perpetuate this injury. Because your body was designed to heal, to heal itself, immediately something happens. Now listen, if sicknesses have a spiritual root, then the solution is a spiritual solution. The doctors can treat you, but ultimately it is the Lord God Jehovah who will heal you. Hospitals can treat you, but ultimately it is the Lord God Jehovah who will heal you. You need to have a different understanding of what sickness is and how you can deal with it. Because God has put people now under pressure to prove to people that science cannot cover everything. To prove to people that uh, by, no, by man, by the arm of man, shall no man prevail. By strength shall no man prevail. Cast is anybody who depends on the arm of man. God is putting pressure on people so that he can confound the wise and bring to naught the wisdom of the wise. What people were depending on, their pillars and their strongholds are now being crumpled so that everybody can run to God and say, you are our God and you are our Savior. Everybody, even the people who are despising God and saying this and that, now because calamity has come, everybody is remembering there is God. Why not remember before calamity strikes? Why not prepare yourself so that when calamity strikes, you have faith, you are ready. We are here today to tell you good news of your complete dominion over every sickness, over every disease. I'm not talking about something I don't know. We have served God for years and I've seen thousands of people healed instantly at the word of God. 
you have seen hundreds of people healed instantly at the application of the anointing of God. Because you are here and because you are watching. Listen, nothing happens by accident in the kingdom of God. You are not watching me by accident. You are not watching me because maybe you, don't, you, are, you are wasting time or you are, spe you are, you are um, biding time before you go to work, before you go to uh, wherever you are supposed to go to today. You are watching me by the appointment of God. God has specifically arranged for you to be here so that you can be able to partake of this word. And whatever you are hearing now will help you one day in a time of crisis. So I pray for you that the word that I'm speaking, God will seal it in your heart by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Isaiah chapter 54, chapter 53 verse 5. God says, Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement needful for our peace was put upon him, and with his stripes we have been healed. Jesus was whipped 39 times on his back, so that by those stripes you can get your healing. Scientists have discovered that all the diseases in the universe, they can be simplified down to 39 roots. So Jesus took a stripe for every root of every disease. There's no disease, there's no affliction, there's no malady that Jesus did not cover with his stripes. Whether it be terrible, whether it be mild, God does not categorize diseases. It is human beings who think this disease is greater than another one. If somebody tells you they have malaria, you say, ah, it's okay, uh, God, God, God will heal you. But when they come and say, I have cancer and leukemia, you get shocked because you think cancer is bigger than malaria. But that is in the eyes of man. But God, to God they have the same source and to God they have the same solution. The stripes of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So in the area, in this era when people are talking like the world is coming to an end, when people are running from pillar to post looking for solutions, when people are yelling at the government because they are allowing planes in and planes where and people in, when people are profiling other people, thinking you, you are carrying corona, you are not carrying corona, you should not come here. As a child of God, let not your heart be troubled. Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. I have overcome the world. If you learn how to depend on the word of God, if you learn how to um, acquire faith from that word of God and lean on that faith, the power of God will come through and will avail for you then you will not need to run and yell at somebody because you think they are putting your life in danger. As a Christian, you belong to a different government. The Bible says our government is in heaven. You belong to a different kingdom. If you're really a child of God, if you're really a Christian, then you should live your life with this understanding that my government is not here. I am here, but I am not of here. I am here as an ambassador. I come from somewhere else. You should live your life with understanding that you're here as an ambassador of God. Your, your government is not here. So whatever the governments of the earth do, you, you are own, you are, you are exempted because your government has a different sort or a different system for health care. The kingdom of God is a government. The Bible talks about Jesus Christ. It says, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. So your government is upon the shoulder of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever they are doing with this government, even though you are here, you are exempted by reason of salvation. Your own government has a different economic system. Your government has a different health care system. And that health care system is predicated upon the stripes of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that he was whipped for your healing. Your healing is a prophecy fulfilled. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 that Jesus healed all of them so that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken by prophet Isaiah that he himself took our infirmity upon his own body. So whatever disease is trying to attack you or your own, first of all that disease is illegal. I declare it illegal by the authority of the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Secondly, that disease is belated. Your healing happened 2,000 years ago 
and that disease is trying to attack you now has come too late. You must gather the courage, you must gather the faith, you must gather the boldness to tell this disease that it is attacking you too late. You, are, you belong to a different kingdom, you belong to a different government, it has no local standard, it cannot attack you. You must take your place as a child of God, not run in fear like everybody else. When the world is going down, the Bible says, when they say there's a casting down, you, you shall say there's a lifting up. When they say there's a casting down, you, you shall say there's a lifting up. Listen, as a child of God, any prophecy or whatever you hear, that would bring fear to you, you should reject it immediately. Because fear is not of God. God does not rule with fear. God rules by his word. And you should have your heart settled on the word of God. The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 91, it says, 10,000 may fall at your right hand, 1,000 may fall at your right hand, 10,000 at your left hand, but it shall not come near you. It shall not come near This is the word of God to you. Any prophecy that contradicts this is not your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. It says, even though 1,000 is falling on one hand, 10,000 is falling on another hand, as for you, it shall not come near you. So when they come and tell you, oh, there's calamity coming upon your nation, there's calamity coming tomorrow. There's uh, this coming, oh, I see blood in the, I see what you say. Okay, that's okay, but it's not for me. I am a child of God. I am governed by different set of rules. Whatever is coming, that's coming to them. The Bible says, only with your eyes you shall see the reward of the wicked. It shall not come near you. As a prophet of Jehovah, I announce your freedom in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Like I said, you're not watching this by accident. I am now announcing your freedom. In the precious name, of, uh, somebody's back has, as I was talking, somebody's back has just been healed. Some, the, the, this was a slipped disc. This, this is like C4. C4 has just been healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's somebody who had a, um, a pain here. This is, um, it's, been, it's been causing a headache on your head. You've been healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I see someone, your name is Cynthia. Your, your, your hair has been falling. You're, you're having boldness, patches of balding because your hair has been falling. The Lord is now going to cause your hair to begin to grow in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's a lady called Margaret. You have a problem with your inside your tongue. God is now healing this. The pain has just disappeared in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, um, this is, we'll be coming back to pray. But uh, the word of God I'm telling you is true. The word of God I am telling you right now is true. The Lord God Jehovah has, uh, has uh, sent his son Jesus Christ. Listen, the answer to God, the answer of God to men is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When men cried out, they needed salvation. When men cried out, they were going to hell. When men cried out, they were being destroyed. God answered the prayer of men, of mankind, by sending Jesus Christ of Nazareth to come as a solution. Now, wherever you are, I want you to set your faith and believe God once again. Because somebody says, but I believed God before, and it didn't come to pass. I want you to believe God once again. Have the courage to believe God again. Have the courage. It takes boldness and it takes courage to lay your entire life on the word of God. Human beings have the tendency to have plan B plan C, plan X. It says, I'm going to pray, but if God doesn't help me, this is what I will do. I am going to pray, but if God doesn't come through for me, this is what I will do. I am going to pray, but if God delays, I know what I'm going to do. It means your prayer, you're not depending on God. God is an option for you. We are coming to an era where God will not be the, an option for you. He will be the only choice you have. We are coming to an era where God will not be one of the many avenues that you are going to try. God will be the only choice you have. God has orchestrated it so that the world has been pushed into a corner so that they can recognize him. You are blessed because you have not yet been pushed to a corner and you are here, you have opportunity to recognize him and to give your life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth because it belongs to him. 
before we pray for sick people, I want to begin to pray for those who are not born again. Everything I have said this far applies to children of God. Child, you become a child of God by reason of the new covenant. Jesus was whipped and you get healed by his stripes. But after he was whipped, he also gave his life. So that there's no point in getting healed and going, then ending up in hell. There's no point in getting healed and then ending up in eternal fire of damnation. Healing is a good miracle, but the greatest miracle is the salvation of a soul. So even before we pray for God to heal you, and God is going to heal many people here, he's already doing it. We are going to pray for everybody who is not born again. Jesus Christ is going to be your Lord and Savior just now. You'll become a child of God. You'll be translated from the kingdom of darkness and you'll be put into the kingdom of God's dear son. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, my father in heaven, say, God of the Bible, say, Lord God Jehovah, I come to you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I acknowledge freely that I am a sinner. I am in need of salvation. My life is a mess. I need you, God. Say, today I have heard about the good news of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How that he came to earth, he died for my sins, he was whipped so that I can be healed. I believe this word today. So I am asking you, Lord, I have missed it, I have messed up, I have depended on my own arm and my own strength. But today I am turning to you. Save me, deliver my life. In the name of Jesus. Now say this. Say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I welcome you into my heart. Come into my heart. Let your blood cleanse me of every sin. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Be my healer and be my deliverer. Say, I reject the devil and everything that belongs to him. I accept Jesus Christ. As my Lord and Savior, now and forever. I am now a child of God. I am now born again. I am a new creation. I have come from darkness into light. I have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the, the, the Son of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen and amen. Now, if you pray this prayer, let me pray for you. So that the Lord God, Jehovah, wherever you are, will keep you and will hold your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for my viewer. They have prayed the prayer and they have repented of their sins. I ask you now to keep them in the kingdom. I seal them by the blood of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit stamp a seal of them right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your word says, whoever comes to me, nobody can pluck out of my hands. These ones have come to you. Nobody will be able to pluck them out of your hands forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are now children of God. Let their lives begin to open in the precious name of Jesus. From today, the devil has no jurisdiction over their lives again forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They will eat the good of the land in the precious name of Jesus. 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 Now, we are going to take um, a small break. When we come back, I'll be praying for you to be healed. The power of God will go through, and the healing of God will spread everywhere. But if you have just got born again, there's a number that is scrolling under there. Text that number on SMS. Text that number on WhatsApp, and say, I prayed with that prophet, 
I prayed with that preacher. I am now born again. I am now healed. I am now a child of God. I want that preacher to pray for me. Then I will call you and I will pray with you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for listening to the word of God. We want now to pray for everybody who is not feeling well. For everybody who is sick. The Lord God Jehovah will heal you right now. We have had thousands and thousands of testimonies through Facebook Live, through other broadcasts, through WhatsApp, what God is doing to people far and wide. Don't say, I am very far. There's no, there's no distance in the spirit. There's no distance in the spirit. The same way I can preach to someone and talk to someone who's in the room right now is the same way through this lens, through this camera, through this television, we are talking to you there. Where you are, God is there also. So don't say, no, 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 this is very far. I don't think I can receive. No, God is the one who heals, not me. It is the Lord who heals, and the Lord is everywhere. He's also where you are. So as we are praying right now, healing is coming to you. Listen, I like a God whom we call and he answers instantly. I don't like a God whom we have to wait until 20, 30 for him to answer. And God is here with us right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want your faith to begin to rise, to know that you can be healed. There's a lady called Agnes. There's a problem with your knees. You've been sitting. In fact, they want to buy you a wheelchair. There's strength coming into your leg right now, and you're standing up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's a gentleman called Simon. You have piles. You have piles. You have a, you have a problem going to the, to the, to the um, gents. You have a problem going for a long call. The Lord is removing that pain right now. You have been seeing blood when you go for a long call. If you go now, you'll find there's no pain and there's no blood in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's somebody called Jeconia. Jeconia, you are having a bloated stomach. Your stomach has been bloated. This is almost three years. Somebody bewitch you. I break the power of that witchcraft right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jeconia, you'll find tonight, you'll pass gas. After you pass gas, you will not have this... Um, problem again forever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody who's not... Take your hand. As I'm praying, please take your hand and uh, place one hand where you're not feeling well and place the other hand on the screen. The power of God is about to hit you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray for everybody my, or every one of my viewers who is not feeling well, whom the devil has attacked, according to the word of God that says Jesus Christ went about doing good and healing all those who are oppressed of the devil because God was with him. God, you are with us today the same way you are with Jesus Christ and now we are doing good and healing everybody who is oppressed of the devil according to Acts chapter 10 verse 38. So I cast every disease in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command that spirit of infirmity to live your life. Come out in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command you to be healed right now. I see headaches going immediately in the name of Jesus. Multiple of people are being healed of headaches. Tooth problems are being, being healed in the name of Jesus. I see someone, you have like growth in, on your tongue. They, 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 they are like pimples that is coming out of your tongue and these things are very painful. You are healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People are being healed of bleeding gums in the precious name of Jesus. I see knee problem, arthritis being, dis, being disconnected from you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the Lord God Jehovah be your healing portion tonight. By the stripes of Jesus, you have been healed. Receive your healing wherever you are. Receive your healing wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. I see Martin. Martin, you're in Kerugoya. I want you to write that what I'm saying is true. Right now, Martin, Martin, you're in Kerugoya. God is healing you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I see people in hospital beds who are watching. You're being healed in the name of Jesus. Let the doctor come and discharge you today. In the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the delivering power of God hit that hospital bed. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. You must know that Jesus is real and Jesus is alive and is the Son of God. As you come out of that hospital bed, go praising the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth for what he has done for you, for the goodness that he has done for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, I release the power of God. Let the anointing of God go through the airwaves across the country, across East Africa, in the precious name of Jesus. Anytime you shall watch this program, even later in the years, the Lord will still heal you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command healing everywhere. I cast cancer from the roots. I cast HIV. Let your blood turn from positive to negative right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every SS to turn to AA. Let every sickle cell anemia disappear appear in the name of Jesus. I cast leukemia from the roots. Let every blood disease be turned around 
in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let every venereal disease disappear. I cast gonorrhea. I cast syphilis in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it disappear from your life forever. Every shameful disease, let it disappear. Every cancerous growth, die from the roots. Come out of that place. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command healing. Pain is leaving people like crazy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every shoulder issue, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every cripple cannot walk. Get out from that chair. Begin to walk right now. Let strength come to your legs right now. In the precious name of Jesus. Wherever you are, let the anointing of God come. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I see healings everywhere. If you are there and you, you are not feeling, begin to exercise faith. Power of God is where you are right now. Begin to exercise your faith. Stretch your legs if they could not walk. If your le- arms were, um, were, were shriveled, stretch it out right now. The Lord is healing you wherever you are. Miracles are happening everywhere in the precious name of Jesus. Receive your healing wherever you are. Let the power of God enter those muscles. I call muscle to muscle. I call bone to bone. I call nerve to nerve. I call sinew to sinew. Come back in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be healed now. Be strong now. Let your leg get strength in the name of Jesus. I see a kid being healed of cerebral palsy. Palsy. I see palsy living your life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Palsy is living your life right now. This kid is, this is Jared. Palsy is living your life right now in the name of Jesus. Let your mother or somebody, it, it's not the kid who is watching, it's the mother who is watching. You have a boy. The boy is called Jared. Jared is still asleep. Palsy is leaving him right now. I want you to write in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak for you in the precious name of Jesus. Father, thank you for everything that you have done for these people in Jesus' precious name. Father, I pray as they are going through the day, let your angels go ahead of them. Bless them in their going in. Bless them in their coming out. I thank you for everything you've done. And we receive it and we seal it in our lives by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Till we meet again, my name is Prophet Fred Akama from Tent of Testimonies Ministries International. May the Lord be your portion. In Jesus' name. Shalom. God bless you.